Welcome back to Naughty Pine Life. Thanks for stopping by our neck of the Northwoods. Today I thought I'd share a little DIY job that might come in handy sometime for you. As you can see here, I have a vehicle battery covered in corrosion. This is actually the, the most corrosion I've ever seen on a vehicle battery in my entire life. Give you a really good look at it. It's absolutely horrendous. It's everywhere. It's caked on. Now obviously it's spread around there because I've been scraping and brushing this stuff off for almost half an hour. Obviously the owner hasn't been keeping up with battery maintenance. This level of corrosion can prevent a good connection to your vehicle's charging system, which is obviously crucial to your vehicle running and being dependable. It can cause no starts or hard starts and even keep it, keep it from fully charging while you're using it. So it's something that needs to be addressed ASAP. Surprisingly, this vehicle hasn't had any starting issues. Uh, but that's... Um, I, would, I, I would call that a miracle based on what you're seeing here. And you didn't even see the leads, how bad they were. But this is what I've cleaned off up to this point. Anyway, now that I've gotten as much as I can with uh, this wire brush and this paint scraper, it's time to uh, continue the process and get the rest of the stuff off. So the first thing I'm going to do is vacuum up all this toxic, nasty blue stuff you see here so it doesn't do any unwanted damage anywhere else, either on the vehicle or to the environment. Then I'm going to go old school and break out what's going to really get this job completed all the way and that's baking soda yep that's right baking soda and water will clean this battery corrosion for you and on really severe cases like this uh, I'm assuming I'm going to have to let, actually let it soak and perhaps do it a couple times because this is a very severe case of battery corrosion. So basically all you do is you get some baking soda, water, you mix them up in a little container or what have you, or you could even sprinkle the baking soda on the terminals and the leads and uh, pour a little bit of water on and then get your toothbrush and just start going to town scraping away and little by little she uh, she'll get clean for you so after I do that and I, I guess I should mention first that you want to make sure that your battery's disconnected start with your negative battery terminal always then go to your positive and then when you reconnect your battery always start with your positive and then finish up with your negative <clears throat> that's for any time you're working on your vehicle so once I get everything cleaned up vacuumed up Scraped up as good as I can. 
Uh, I'm going to get some DIY electric grease, which I showed you over here. You know, I'll put that inside. I'll put it on the terminals. Uh, and just so you know, you don't need to have DIY electric grease. Um, the old timers will tell you that petro petroleum jelly works just as good. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, that's it folks. Just a short little DIY how-to video. Uh, hope you learned something useful today. Hope it saves you some money. Hope it uh, reminds you to keep an eye on your battery and um, checking for corrosion. Uh, it can be an indicator of other problems. I'm guessing that this battery in here is just about shot. Um, but we're going to run it. We're going to get her cleaned up as good as new. So, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay tuned.